Well, good morning from Rising Sun Lake. And today we're going to do a lot of adventures. It's going to be history, some lakes, um, historic buildings, uh, parks, uh, little beaches. We're going to go all over the place today. Well, that sounds great to me. And I definitely want to get over here and do some kayaking here. So come along and join us. Hey, we're over here at the meeting house. It's ye old yellow meeting house. We're going to win? Yeah. Read it. Oh. Now you read it. I'll give it to Patty. The Parsonage and Baptist Ministry. All right, well, they have a little pamphlet over here which we'll take. I'll get that. This parsonage provided a home for the Baptist ministers at Upper Freehold. It was built in several stages with the oldest section in 1740. Now it's center containing one room on the first floor with an open hearth fireplace and a beam ceiling. The second floor ac accessed by a staircase on the eastern wall also had one room and a fireplace. The adjacent sections were probably built in the early 1800s. The meeting house was served by traveling ministers until the church was formally organized in 1766. Long sermons were in fashion since members of the congregation often traveled great distances and wanted plenty of substance in their church service. David Jones became the first resident minister of the church and served until 1775. During the revolution, he became known as the fighting parson while serving as a chaplain in the Continental Army. He gained fame for his sermon, Defensive War and a Just Cause, Sinless. Early American ministers often supported themselves by farming during the week and preaching on Sunday. A small barn once stood just beyond the tree line to the west of the parsonage. The parsonage now serves as a private residence. And that's that right there. And this says Yield Yellow Meeting House. And that's it. You see the graveyard over here? Tim is looking at some of the gravestones. You get a little closer, but the door's open. Yeah, it's the outhouse right there. more graves over here. This one right under a tree. Eighteen hundreds. Oh cool. You can see a little bit of it. Very nice. The balcony up there. And the church. That's nice inside. staircase that goes up to the balcony. And over there says the cemetery and grounds. Tells you a little bit about it. Over here. 
here at the flea market and look around the new Egypt flea market. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Oh, look at these creams. Look at this. All 45s. Mama's and Papa's. Got a feeling. Yeah. Yeah, right? The, yep. Aunt the Aunt Nancy chair. We have this, and whenever she come over, this was her chair. <laughs> There's no such thing as free beer, but come inside and eat. All right. <laughs> oh. One and I also got one for my daughter when she was little. Yeah. Isn't this for animals over here, Patty? Right? Is this for an animal? Um, I what? guess. Right? Or am I wrong? I Maybe guess. I'm. Wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Yeah. It's a dog stroller. I told you. Yeah. yeah. That's what that is, a dog stroller. I'm going to go in there. And then I'm going to go in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I want to go in there. Hi. All right. Tree says treasures. Hmm. I don't think I could walk okay. inside. I don't think we could walk inside. Yeah, you can. Yeah, if I had more than one, I could have sold that. Okay, I gotta go. A prickly pig. Huh? Everything's a dollar? Everything's a yeah. dollar. Wow. Just the Are you sure? Outside. Outside. Like if everything's a dollar, I mean, look at this. That's right, right? Is that, is that what the sign says? I Did we understand it correctly? I don't think so. I didn't okay. think so. Not everything but a dollar. I don't know. You can ask him. Oh. And then say 18. <laughs> oh, so this goes down pretty far. Yeah, there's 40, 40 of them. Wow, pretty nice. All his fur cones You know where they are, right? Wow. Yeah, we're going to make a ride of them. Well, I just want to go get the cat. I love these little homes. Do you remember where it was? I love these little homes, aren't they cute? Oh, look at this one. This is a log cabin. Very cute. Where are you going down to the ATM? That's a scary bear. Right there. Okay, thank you. First building. Look, look, there's a picture of. Oh, Bigfoot! Yeah. There's my buddy. He's all the way back there. Oh, I gotta go stand by Bigfoot. Did he say up all the way over here, Ken? I think over there. Look at all these bicycles over here. There's Bigfoot all the way over there. Oh.
Mm, that coffee smells nice. Chloe Antiques. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how about yourself? Right there. Over here at the Popcorn Zoo. One up oh, over yeah. there. Look at them. Yeah. It's glowing to them. Yeah. There they go. I think he's going to come try to fly down. Yeah, he's going to come down. With this guy over here. Oh. 
they're like all over the place. Piggies. He's wagging his tail and he's moving his nose. They're a monkey with these on. Right, because they have all the things to climb on. Yeah, it's probably inside because it's so hot out. You see the little door over there? It's probably inside. Oh, the red no. face? No, it might be a red face. Gotta have yeah. some, I hear water. Go in the water. What's over here? Baby. Where's the other ones though? They're probably in the house. So Marion, Bonnie, and Ginger the black bears. That's probably Ginger. You can see the difference in the color. Yeah, she's in the shade. Yeah. Hey, girl. Another one. Yeah. Hello there, beautiful baby. Look at you. Aren't you a good looking girl? Oh. <laughs> she's going to roll over like a teddy bear. Look at her. Look how cute. It's cooler in here. Yeah, it's much yeah, cooler. The other one. Thank God. Well, bless you. Hello. You look like you're nice and cool in the shade there. They're waiting for some food. Well, hurry up and feed them, people. <laughs> no, they let you have popcorn to give to them. Well, if I knew that, we could have gotten some. No. That's where I'm being high. <laughs> right over here. Beautiful. Oh, he's so pretty. Yeah, he's a beaut. Oh, yeah. This 
cage is Kaya the White Bengal Tiger, but she's not out right now. She's probably in her housing. It's hot. You don't see her out. Inside, yeah, she's inside. Yeah. Oh well. She's either inside or she died. Here would be Simba the tiger. Oh. They look like lions back there. Lions. Oh, look at that. No wonder they have the bigger size. Um, yeah. I told you. And that, it's got, I think this one's got barbed wire. That's funny. Look at him. Yeah. He's a big boy. Oh, there he is over there. Hey, Simba. Simba. Come on, boy. Simba. I can't whistle. You whistle. See Simba back there? Isn't he cute? Laying down. Lazy afternoon. Moving. Yeah. The lag. Scottish Highland Cattle. He's eating popcorn, nuts. over here are the big cats but they're not out because it's too hot they, I think they have like a little um, and over here too
More Maritime Legacies. Water Street is named for the parallel waterway that flows over 40 miles from its inland source to Barnegat Bay. Since the early 1700s, the waterway and the tiny village that thrived near it were called Tom's River. Historians believe that they were named for Thomas Luger, an early English settler, 1702, who operated a raft-like ferry that transported people and goods across the river. The apostrophe in Tom's was lost to history, and today both the river and the village are known as Tom's River. No apostrophe. And they have the Water Street Historic District and the Stoutenburg Place, 1887 on River's Edge at the southern end of Robbins Parkway, Stort House, Dover House, 1849, and A.A. Brandt House, 1867. The John C. Bartlett Jr. County Park at Berkeley Island.
guys, we're headed back. We had a really nice day. Uh, the Rising Sun Lake was really nice in the morning. That's one lake I eventually want to do some kayak in. in and also um, Stone Tavern Lake is on my agenda too for that. Um, also, we visited the meeting place, the meeting house in the 1700s. It's really nice. A um, little bit of history there. And uh, Popcorn Zoo, which I was there in the 90s, but we went back and um, it's really nice. I really enjoyed seeing those animals. It's a really nice um, refuge place. They save a lot of animals and uh, they take care of them. And um, also we went back and we visited Patty's house, uh, hung out for a little while and had some lunch there. We did the uh, flea market, the Egyptian... New Egypt. New Egypt, okay. New Egypt flea market was really unique and different. I did see something there I want. They only have cash for the most part, so next time we go back, we're gonna have to do cash. But uh, it's a really unique little place. Nice little shops and everything. So, uh, and just went down by the bay, had a nice time. I we went to that, um, that park where it's right around the water. Um, yeah. I forget what it was called. Yeah. John Bennett something. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we did a little bit of something different today. Yeah. We didn't really do any back roads, which is one of our favorite things we like to do. But we'll get back to that. We have a lot of other things we need to explore. Summer's coming, so we have a lot of things in the store, a lot of places to go. But uh, anyway, thanks for joining us today. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>